Do I look like a bumblebee? Probably not. But to those tomato plants, I basically am. Tomato plants need something that vibrates at a certain frequency to get the pollen out. Um, this tool can do exactly that. Honeybees, however, cannot. This is our sonicator. As you can see, it turned on. So we put on the highest setting. We rub it over the anther of a flower. Oh, goodness. Until we get some pollen. Here's a little bit of pollen. It's not that much, but there it is. And then what we'll do is we'll cross pollinate. So we get all of the pollen from one plant, and we get all of the pollen from another plant, and then we switch the pollen. So say if I had one here, I just dab it, and then it'll be pollinated. Now, you might ask why we're hand pollinating these tomatoes. After all, the wind can shake some pollen onto the stigma, and obviously there's plenty of pollinators around. Uh, what we're trying to investigate is pollen shortage, that is, if the plants are getting enough pollination from the pollinators around. So we have an experimental group which we hand pollinate and a control group which we leave up to the bees and we then compare how well they do reproductively. We then weigh the harvested tomatoes and count the number of seeds in them, comparing the two groups. We did the same experiment with the squash, which tragically are now mostly dead before their time was even due. Our research was conducted at six sites, five of which are urban farms in Chicago, as well as the Botanic Garden. We're trying to see how the varying levels of urbanization are going to affect pollen shortage at the different sites. Now, at these sites, there's a lot more than just tomatoes. We're looking at the floral resources at the sites, which is all the food available from a pollinator's perspective. Our survey of floral resources includes all the flowers in a 15 meter radius of the study plants. We count the flowers because we want to account for abundance as well as the number of species. We're trying to see if the diversity of the floral resource affects pollinator visitation to the study plants. We were thinking that having a lot of flowers around would increase visitation by increasing the population of pollinators and attracting them to the area, but it could also decrease visitation by distracting the pollinators from the study plants. We're also collecting data on the pollinator communities at the sites. To do that, we observe what pollinators visit our study plants, both through human observations and GoPros. We also look at the broader pollinator communities by walking around the sites and identifying what we can, so we see if there's any relationship between the pollinator community and seed set. This research is important because hand pollination is costly and time consuming, so it is better to ensure that the pollinators are providing all of the services needed for agricultural plants to be at their full reproductive potential especially as cultivated honeybee stocks are declining due to many issues such as colony collapse disorder and climate change, it is very important to study the native pollinator communities. Additionally, with increasing urbanization, it is necessary to study how these pollinators are responding to reduced habitat availability and changes in floral composition.